Okay, today we're going to be uh, extracting sagittal otoliths from largemouth bass. Uh, before you get started, we're going to need a couple tools. Uh, first thing, you'll need a pair of a tweezers. Uh, you'll also need some cutters to actually get to the otolith. They come in all kinds of sizes and shapes, and, and a lot of times you'll just pair it up with what what size or species of fish you're dealing with, in addition to just personal preference. Um, you'll also want um, some kind of tissue to clean off your otolith, at least for, for larger fish and larger otoliths. Um, maybe not a great idea for when you're dealing with really small otoliths, maybe just use your back of your hand. Uh, you don't want to lose them in the tissue or, or drop them or, or break them on accident. And then finally, just uh, some type of envelope or vial to put your otoliths in for storage. A uh, quick helpful hint when you're, when you're planning on doing this, uh, you really want to make sure ideally that your fish are fairly fresh and on, on hard ice and, and really chilled well. Um, it'll keep, keep everything fairly clean and it won't make quite as much of a mess when you're, when you're trying to do this. And so we'll get started. I like to start off by holding the fish on its back with a couple fingers in its mouth and just really open up those, uh, those gills. You'll take your cutters and you will cut uh, where all the gills come together. It's called the isthmus and it only takes one or two snips and you've cleared out quite a bit of space for you to work with. Now these otoliths are going to be sitting in a capsule called the otic capsule on the base uh, on the base of the spine so kind of in the top of the mouth and so um, some people will go ahead right now and and make a cut uh, and crack it right wide open, but uh, for today's purposes, I'm going to clear the, all the tissue out so you can really get a nice look at what capsule I'm talking about and where on the capsule you really want to be cutting. And so I've just cleared the tissue out. Now that you have that, you'll see a diamond shaped, um, a diamond shaped capsule, and that's the otic capsule. And the otoliths you'll will, will be sitting right there, one on either side of the spine. And so we need to cut that open and break it. And generally, uh, for a fresh fish, a largemouth bass like this, I'll just go in in the center of that diamond, cut at a perpendicular angle. And with that, you'll really, it really comes down to feel and practice. You don't want to go too deep and break the otoliths, but if you don't go shallow, if you go too shallow, it's, it's not going to break correctly. And so, I've gone ahead and done that. Uh, now in order to crack this capsule open, uh, when you're dealing with bigger fish, some people like to use uh, an edge of something as leverage. A uh, fish this size, um, I can normally just use my index finger bracing its head and then go ahead and crack it right open. Now that I've done that, Otolith, are sitting right there. If you actually make a cut that's in the right place and the right depth, um, they're just sitting right there. There's no looking required. So I got my two otoliths. We'll go ahead and clean them with our wipes. Be careful with them. You don't want to wipe them too much and accidentally crack them and you also don't want to drop them or lose them. So now we have our two clean oliths. With smaller oliths you might just use the back of your hand to clean them off. So now we've gone ahead and got our oliths, cleaned them, and we'll put them in our envelope and then typically our envelope or our vial is labeled with information, capture date, location, um, an identification number for this fish and we have length and weight information typically um, correlated with this fish and that's all it takes 
Um, definitely something that requires some practice just to get a hang of it, um, but it's not, not too difficult. Thank you.